I'm going to give you some tips on how you can inhibit carrot fly when you're growing carrot from seed. We'll start off some a bit later. Sow them towards the end of May and then harvest them around about August time because that way you miss a lot of the carrot fly's life cycle. There's still a few of them about, of course, but it cuts away some of those earlier ones and they're really prolific. Secondly, try not to thin out. Sow them in a way where there's a slight gap between each seed. It takes a little bit of care, but you'll be well rewarded because of that. Because as you sort of thin out carrots as they grow, if you're sowing them in a thick run, because they need a bit of thinning out, otherwise you just become massive clumps. And as you know, carrots expand, so you need to give them a bit of space. But if you are thinning a lot, you're damaging and bruising some of the leaves as you can take out. And that's almost like a dinner gong to some of the carrot fly to come in and attack. You can grow them in raised containers like this. That's also another good one to keep it really out of the uh, the hands of the carrot fly. But of course, some people also choose varieties that are more resistant. So check the packets. The final tip I've got is sow them in between rows of onions. Now, this is an old gardener's trick. Some find great success with it and some don't, but you should try it yourself. There you have it. Loads of hints and tips so you can avoid those pesky carrot flies. Mm -hmm.